Well, are you? No, but I've watched Party of One, and tried imagining myself breaking in through the fourth wall in the opposite direction and transforming into a pony to get Pinkie Pie a hug when she gets all sad. Does that count as Clopion on some level? Honestly, yes, because my dick always follow my heart, not the other way around. When I'm not fan down, I often clop to the most cloppable thing around. In Pokemon, that was main down. In VGCats, it, it was Perry Picks of Iris. Way back during the world, it was Tamari Hinata. Nintendo has Peach and Daisy, and now... Now it's this! <laughs> Most of them stick heaven. After I'm out of the pendant, though. In fact, I want to look at Picks of Tamari right now. <laughs> As I haven't done it. In a long time. <laughs> Honestly, I'm the same way. It was especially true with Sonic. I'm not, I'm not sure why. I don't consider myself a furry, but I don't oppose the art. Well, some of it. But the same could be said for porn in general. Maybe, maybe I'm just perverted, I don't know, but it's always been this way and probably always will be. It doesn't help some picks out there look really. you know. Equestria Daily just held a huge poll for what people enjoy in the fandom with over 5,000 responses. Do you know an entire third admitted to liking? Clopping. Look at the Central Fiction Fed and Fic. They release a compilation of their works every so often for the public. How many times have they had their packaged shipping and crop fix downloaded? Over 8,000. It's obvious this is just as much a part of the community as anything else. So let's stop treating it like the black sheep secret of the fandom. Not your cup of tea? Fine. Ignore it. Don't judge others for liking it. To those who do like it, stand up for yourselves. Maybe if every pony was just a, a little more vocal, we wouldn't feel like we need to hide the stuff from our friends here on Pony Chan. <sighs> I'm getting turned on by a drawing of a demigoddess horse. Fuck. I don't clop to ponies, but I've clopped to way worse things. I've always felt a little bit of arousal, but I think it's always been despite them being ponies, and not the because. This is one of the rare instances, for me anyway, where I actually prefer not to reveal my preference for any particular materials. Normally I mention pornography in passing to whoever happens to be unfortunate enough to hear. Yes, I have clopped the ponies. Now, I don't know about other people, but as for all the WHYS that have appeared in this thread, I think I can answer from my perspective. You may not understand, so it's all good. I just hope you try to, and listen. I don't clop to MLP, FIM characters often but the amount has risen the more I get into the fandom. It's because I get closer to the characters' personalities. Now, the big reason I find certain clop fix, well, cloppable, too, is because of how much I care for the personalities of these characters. I wouldn't call ponies a fetish, as it's not something pony specific that turns me on. It's just a result of what I find to be the most sexual thing in a relationship. When in any relationship, I find the most intimate thing to be sex and the goal to pleasure the partner. When I am greatly in tune, someone slash something, fictional character or otherwise, seeing them experience that sort of pleasure achieved through sex, clopion, etc. is one of the biggest turn-ons possible. I have actually had a weirder, true fetish result from this line of thinking that I developed at a young age. I determined that originally I, it was primarily subconscious and took a bit of self-analysis to figure all this out. Now that I've explained this, I want to point out that the best thing in any clop fic if we're calling them that, is shipping. For me at least. It needs to be romantic. It needs to have both partners, through love, have that same willingness to pleasure each other that I described above. I have seen clop fix in certain pictures or sets of pictures to have accomplished this entirely. These I have clopped too. As you can see by the anonymity, I am both a bit ashamed of myself and worried about being judged by others. Although I never would, some of the responses in the thread worry me, so I hope that this response clears up at least one reason some of us clop. Other reasons could simply be zoophilia, or they find the pony sentient so they don't really see them as animals, or they honestly do find the characters sexy. I hope we can all accept these possibilities and the people who clop because of them equally. What is sexually arousing generally isn't controlled by us, and we shouldn't shun them for this. <laughs>